Welcome to the Rapier and Fire Staff Guide. In this video, we will be showcasing a PvE slash PvP build that combines the power of the blood and burn mechanics. This is the Fire and Blood God build. This build scales of dexterity and intelligence, it has bleed and burn stacking mechanics, up to 80% cooldown reduction, unlimited stamina, a free second evade, up to 35% haste, 30% damage reduction, up to 30% damage buff, a 20% base critical hit chance, a 12 second 30% heal, and a 40% damage buff every 3 seconds on a light and heavy attack, and then finally 50% elemental damage buff. Here is the full blood tree for the rapier. You'll be taking Tondo, alongside first for blood, and again, the passives will be refreshing strikes, and guard, unerring, light edge. For the grace tree, you'll be taking evade, alongside breathe in, allegro, adagio, crescendo, and momentum. Your final skill will be fletch, alongside quick lunge, and backside. Your passives will be controlled breathing, red curtains, and swiftness. In the fire mage tree, you'll be taking pillar of fire, the first strike, and arson's advantage. Your passives will be clear mind, singe, clear casting, spell slinger, and prophet of a fire god. In the pyromancer tree, you'll be taking incinerate, with scorched, cauterized wounds, and flame out. Your final skill will be burn out alongside all in. Your passives in the pyromancer tree will be pyromania, kindle, let it burn, combat speed, and finally trial by fire. The stats you'll be going for will be 5 strength, 50 dexterity, 130 intelligence, 5 focus, and 25 constitution. The order of stats that I recommend leveling up first is constitution, followed by dexterity and intelligence. You should be able to get the rest of your needed intelligence and constitution levels from your gear and jewelry. Constitution will allow you to survive against creatures and enemy factions. Dexterity is the primary stat for the rapier and it will allow you to scale your damage the most effective way in the early game. Once you find a rapier with a gem slot, make sure you slot an intelligence based scaling gem into it and then later on pour all of your stats into intelligence. This will allow to convert up to 50% of your physical damage from your rapier into a specific elemental type. Your full combo should look something like this. Start with Pillar of Fire, get up close with Burnout, then use Incinerate, switch to your rapier, perform Tondo, into Fletch. Make sure to only use Fletch when your opponent is at 10% health or less to take advantage of the 80% cooldown reduction on kill. Use Evade as necessary and make sure to follow up with a light or heavy attack because it is buffed by 40% from your Evade tree. Overall, this is a very powerful build that incorporates layers of offensive and defensive buffs to your advantage. You are able to dodge in and out of combat, use a 3 second evade and finish opponents off very quickly. That is all for this guide, let me know in the comments what you think about this build and also comment which two weapons I should make a build on next. As always please leave a like on the video and make sure to subscribe if you want to see a lot more new world content in the future. I'll see you next time.